Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC Mom Who Loves Science, and today I'm going to bring you CC Cycle 1, Week 15 Science Experiments. And for this week, we only have one science experiment, and it's from um, the Van Cleese book, number 128, and that's Prince. This is going to be all about fossils. So you can start with asking the students, what do they know about fossils? Or have they ever seen a fossil? And you get their, their answers. Have they ever been to a museum where they saw fossils? Or even found some in their backyard? I remember growing up, um, we had a big hole dug and there were these fossils of seashells that we found. So they may have found them even in their own backyard. And you can ask them, well, how do they know how fossils are formed? There's actually different ways that fossils are formed. I kind of get their hypothesis, their guesses on how are the fossils created. And today for our experiment, we are going to be creating our own fossils. So for this experiment, um, the Van Cleves guys says modeling clay, but I'm just going to use some Play-Doh. So you can use, you know, a small amount of Play-Doh or you can give them larger amounts of Play-Doh. But you'll need um, supplies for each student. So they'll each get some modeling clay or Play-Doh and you can get like a bag of seashells at the Dollar Tree. And so each student could get a seashell or that they could share. Um, another idea is maybe you could even um, get like plastic insects and make imprints of those. So I'm going to be using a seashell today. And then you'll need either like paper plates or like maybe paper bowls or styrofoam bowls. Um, this is where our, our mold is going to sit while it dries. You'll need some petroleum jelly and probably some paper towels nearby. And then you'll need um, a, a larger disposable container, like maybe a big yogurt container or a sour cream container. Um, just because that's what we'll mix up the plaster of Paris in. Um, so you'll need a container to mix that in, the plaster of Paris, and some water and a spoon to mix the plaster. So the first step is we're going to be making our mold. So you'll give the students their Play-Doh and they'll kind of flatten it out a little bit. And then they'll take um, whatever object they're going to use to make an imprint. And we're going to put some petroleum jelly on the side that we're going to be placing into the Play-Doh. It just helps it come out of the Play-Doh. It does, helps it not stick. So I'm going to get that all coated. You can wear the paper towels come in handy. Just wipe off your hand. So coat whatever object you're going to be imprinting into the Play-Doh with the petroleum jelly. And then they're going to place the petroleum jelly side and, and press it into play-doh or their clay press it in there and then when you pull it out you will have an imprint of your object now once you have that they'll place their play-doh on the plate and then tutors or parents while they're um, pressing their objects into the play-doh they can be mixing up the plaster of Paris so it looks like it's about two parts plaster Paris to one part water. So if you're doing this for um, a larger group, which we will be, we're going to be using two cups of plaster Paris to one cup of water. So just measure that into your disposable container and mix it up. I don't have that to show you here today, but I'll just describe what you're going to do. And then you're going to um, either spoon, spoon it or kind of pour it into um, each of the molds, each student's mold. And then you're going to let it harden and dry for about 30 minutes. So if you're doing science and art um, after new grammar, you might do science first and then it can be hardening while you do um, your fine arts time. So make sure you don't um, pour any of the plaster of Paris down the drain. You just want to throw it all away, um, any extra that you have. Um, just make sure it doesn't go down the drain. You can keep maybe hand wipes or something if it kind of gets on kids' hands or your hands. Just kind of wipe up and clean up. 
And so what you're going to find is you're going to have your, your Play-Doh, which when, when it hardens, they'll be able to peel the Play-Doh off. So they'll have this part with, with the imprint and then they'll have um, the plaster of Paris will have, it'll look like the shape of your shell. And so, um, and the Van Cleves, it, the definition of a fossil is any impression or trace of organisms from past geologic times. So um, I also recommend checking out uh, Nicole Liam's, uh, her, her script and information for, for this week. So she gives some really um, good descriptions. She talks about the different kinds of fossils. Um, there's a mold fossil, which is like what this is, where say an animal stepped into some mud and left a footprint or a shell was pressed into the mud and it left a footprint. Then over time, um, you know, minerals and dirt and, and it just made layers over the top after the mud hardened. And eventually that, that became rock down inside of the imprint. And when paleontologists discover it in the earth, they find those types of fossils. But there's other types of fossils. There's petrified fossils where minerals, where like if it, um, an animal got, you know, buried under the ground and, but it was preserved. So it, it decomposed slowly. So the minerals would kind of replace um, the organic material slowly over time. So it's like the actual elements of the animal itself become stone. So um, there's petrified fossils. She has um, an example here of a petrified fossil where um, just those minerals kind of seeped in and turned to stone slowly over time. And there's a picture of petrified trees. So that can happen to trees, not just the animals, where actually their minerals go into the the structure of the tree and the whole tree ends up turning to stone or replaced by, by stone and minerals. So um, there's also a preserved fossil, like an insect getting stuck in a piece of amber and that amber turning solid and hardened into stone. Or like mammoths, they found mammoths that are enclosed in huge blocks of ice or that got stuck in tar pits. So they're like completely preserved. So there's just different, there's different ki kinds of fossils that paleontologists find. And this is one type of fossil that they can find. So this is a fun experiment for students to make their own fossils. So probably recommend to have the students bring like an old t-shirt or a smock um, just to protect, to make sure we don't get plaster um, on anyone's clothes. And just have fun with this one. It's fun to make your own fossil. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.